Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to make this cool looking animation in Blender. Let's get it started. With Blender open, press tab to go into edit mode. In 3 for face select mode, select the front and the back face of the cube, press X and delete the face. Press Ctrl R to add some edge loops. Go to modifiers tab and add a simple deform modifier. Uh, then add array modifier change this to minus one or maybe keep it down point six is good then add bunch of this maybe this will be fine now bring this up to 55 and uh, now 45 is good now add a wireframe modifier and uncheck replace originals now let's go to modif uh, shading tab uh, if you have no regular add-on enable press ctrl t to bring up these nodes and choose object coordinate and plug this into the roughness press shift s and change this to musgrave and uh, press shift a and add a color ramp node bring the metallic all the way up and the base color to gray and in the mus grave bring the detail up to 4 dimension to 0 and this thing to 4 now with this we need it little bit more okay now it's looking cool as you can see you can play with these values as you like uh, press shift a and add a Voronoi texture plug it into the normal plug the mapping node into the vector and we need color because first we need the bump node and uh, color ramp and make sure this is plugged into the height of the pump node bring the strength to 0.1 and with the color ramp adjust these values okay now we get some cool surface imperfection now uh, let's set up our camera with our camera selected Press Ctrl G and Ctrl R. Press R X 90 degree and R Z 90. Okay. G and then middle mouse button. Bring it back just a bit. Okay, this is looking cool already. Uh, delete the default light and go to render view. Turn off the background light, press shift A and add a point light. Make it red, dark red with the power of uh, 100 and bring it back just like that. Look, this is looking super cool already. This is too much dark. Let's uh, bring up this thing. Okay, we need ambient occlusion, bloom, screen is flash, and motion blur. So this is too much. We need to fix this. So okay, let's leave it on 0.5. Now we are going to add some more lights. Add an area light with blue color. Give it strength about 50 and move it just off rotate like that move a little bit back and press shift t duplicate it and move it back on the x-axis rotate it in some other direction now bring up the timeline we need something uh, i'm gonna make it 100 frames and Okay, let's see. 
how long we have this so bring this light to all the way back okay bring this to all the way back and I'm gonna keyframe its location and in the frame end we need this thing to at front okay let's see how it's looking okay looking good now uh, we are going to animate this two lies as well so I for location and go to frame end GX pull all the way back if you want you can also animate the rotation okay this is animated okay we have to animate its rotation also okay fine this looking cool so location and rotation now uh, I'm gonna do this same with the third light I for location and rotation and and frame and at frame 100 press G then X bring it forward and rotate it uh, I think this is looking pretty nice okay I location rotation now we are going to look at this so this is already looking trippy we need some more thing we are going to do a with this thing so uh, check this and go to frame like 30 frames and check this again frame it then go further 60 frames and check this and go further okay, okay. let's click this check and now see it so you got the strippy animation with no time for the render settings just go to the render tab and change this to 25 frame per second and uh, save uh, where you want to i'm gonna save it in my desktop call it a vj loop accept and for this i'm going to render it in fmpeg format and go to encoding change this to mpeg4 and quality high quality and hit render there you go guys that's it for today's